For those of you who are not familiar with DOS Audio, we are actually founded in Valencia, Spain in 1971. We are a family-owned, privately-owned business, so you don't have to worry about any greedy investors. We are really a family operation, and we pride ourselves in that. Since 1971, the same owner and founder has been helping direct the company and moving forward across the globe. Since 1971, the name DOS originally stood for Dynamic and Sound. In 1971, he wanted to create a name that would resonate quality audio around the globe. And at that time, during the 70s, everything was all about stereophonic sound, quadraphonic sound, dynamics, which played a big part in how people received their sound. Juan started out as a driver, a manufacturer, and an audio engineer, making his own drivers for his own speakers which eventually evolved into the company we are today, where we are recognized globally as a leader in pro audio. We pride ourselves in providing quality audio products at a very reasonable price point. So the 26A symmetric self-powered line array is very compact, very portable, very powerful. We're using two 6.5 drivers for the low and low mid frequencies. We're using one high frequency driver, which is a 1.75 voice call design. And it has a very unique shape for a product at this price point. You get controlled coverage and uniform SPL. Very impressive uniformity, 100, and 100 degrees wide horizontal coverage, and it's 10 degrees per cabinet. So it's very splay dependent, meaning that if you stack two, three, four cabinets, you will go from 10, 20, 30, 40 degrees of vertical coverage. Horizontal coverage is always going to be 100 degrees. If you notice here, the Phase plug, I'm pointing out, this is a part of the cabinet design. It is not just cosmetics. If you look behind the drivers, I'll see if I can get a closer view here. If you look behind this phase plug, you'll see drivers. There's one on each side. And down the center is the high frequency driver. So these are the low mids. And then there's a phase plug on top of that. That phase plug is designed to act as a enhancer for your high frequency driver to give you that smooth off access coverage that you typically don't get with such a small cabinet. Looking at the back of the cabinet, we have removed the rain flaps. Rain flaps are included on the Event 26 as well as all Event line array products, subs and tops. We've removed the rain flaps to show you the controls. Over here on the left, you've got your power con in and through. And over here on the right, you've got the LCD screen with the encoder, which is a part of our DOS control capability. You have the ability to go in and adjust some EQ features, or DSP presets, based on how you're going to set up your array. You have your XLR in and through, and you have your cooling fan. Your rigging pins are stored in what we call the fast set splay, and I'll get into that in just a moment. But at this price point, you typically don't get a cabinet that is symmetrically designed with that type of phase plug and giving you fur filters that'll give you a very smooth and even response from low frequencies on this perspective all the way up to the high frequencies. It's extremely smooth, very linear no matter how many cabinets you add to it. It is a probably propylene cabinet, but inside it is reinforced and has ridges all along the inside of the cabinet to remove unwanted resonance or vibrations that you normally get from a, a plastic or a polypropylene cabinet. So you can push this cabinet pretty hard and you won't get any of the negative resonance or vibrations that you normally get with this type of material. It does have the integrated rigging hardware, 
And because it's polypropylene, it is the lightest array in the DOS audio family, coming in at only 36 pounds. The FSS stands for Fast Set Splay. It is the ability for you to align or rig your cabinets at your predetermined angles while everything is stacked on the ground. And as you lift, the pins will anchor at the proper position, giving you the ease of stacking and portability, but also not having to adjust the rig and bring it up and down and up and down every time you want to make some minor adjustments or to set up your angles initially. From one rigging bumper, you can hang up to 16 units. That is 16 full of the tops. You have the ability to do eight uh, units of the tops if you're going to do four subs, for example. And speaking of subs, this is the Event 115A. This is a wood Baltic birch cabinet. It's self-powered. Again, you can see we have the DOS control features, your XLR in and through, and your PowerCon in and through. These normally have a rain flap over each, so you can easily adjust and get to your signal controls. This is your rear spine for the rigging, and it's built to endure and be weather ready. Here are the rain flaps, as you can see, with the air cooled pockets. It is all birch wood. We have a custom three inch voice coil on what we call the 15FW4. This is a long excursion, low distortion driver that we make ourselves. Again, keep in mind, 98% of DOS Audio's catalog is made in-house in Valencia, Spain by the same team of engineering. So you're gonna get really good voicing from our entry level products all the way up to the pro products and install as well. As I've stated before, it's very riggable, very flexible. As you can see, you can fly subs individually, you can fly subs and tops, and which makes it a perfect match if you're going to a company for a live event and you need more low end reinforcement. If you wanted, you could fly the 15 inch subs in the air and you can ground stack the 218 or the single 21. That is the event 218A or the event 121A sub. That's a single 21 inch subwoofer or a single cabinet with two 18 inch drivers. All of these are powered and are very, very uh, time aligned, uh, excuse me, not time aligned, but phase aligned with any of our tops. So you don't have to worry about polarity or phase issues if you're using our tops with our subs. Again, made in Spain, we probably make 98% of our catalog in-house in Valencia, Spain. We headquartered in Miami, Florida to distribute for the USA. We have distributors globally all around the world. We also have major offices in Singapore, China, Brazil, and of course the headquarters in Valencia, Spain. This is what I was referring to, a phase response. A lot of cabinets you find on the market almost have what we call three turns, two or three turns. Normally, it's not unusual to see a complete turn of the low frequency somewhere around 100 degrees because usually that is your crossover point from low frequency to mid-high frequency. So the sub would be doing, for example, 100 hertz and below, and then the tops would be doing from 100 and above. But if you look at what is traditionally found on the market, you see there's another turn. So it's almost low, mid, and high. Reason why this is important is this phase response of the 26A and most DOS audio products give you a smoothness and an ease of setup. So you do not have to worry about trying to get the polarity or phase response of different subs matching different tops. It basically creates a very plug and play type scenario, whether you're very experienced with audio or whether this is your first PA. We want to make it easy for you to sound good and set up very, very easily. Again, the uniformity, very wide coverage in this particular cabinet, and it's very compact, so it can fit in the back of a small SUV or even if you've got a little Mini Cooper. 
Another interesting feature you'll find across the line of all DOS audio products is we have a very low energy consumption. For example, on the 26A, it's only pulling 1.6 amps at 115 volts. We are pulling 0.8 amps at 230 volts. And if you compare that to what is traditionally found in the market these days, you'd easily find the average cabinet of comparable price or power is usually pulling about three amps or more. These are some of the accessories that you'll need if you're gonna be transporting or flying or even ground stacking. The AX, anytime you see an AX for a model number of a DOS audio product, that is the rigging bumper. That is where you fly the speakers underneath. You can fly the subs or the tops with the same AX EV26. EV is for event, 26 is the model number. AXS, as in SAM, is the stacking bracket. Anytime you see AXS, it's a stacking bracket. EV is event, 26 is that model number. The JP is the joining plate. If you were connecting subs to tops, for example, and you were gonna fly one or two subs in the air and then hang the rest of the array underneath, you would use this JP EV26 as your joining plate to align the rear spine of the subs with the tops. The PL is for pallet or palette, pallet cart, basically a wheel board. The EV26 has the angle so that you can easily transport everything at the prefixed angles. And your PL EV115S is the transport dolly for the subs. This is just to show you some system setups and options. Uh, the TSP-1 is actually a telescoping, this is just a rendering, it's actually a telescoping sub pole that has uh, the ability to adjust in height. So you can, for example, put one or two subs on the ground and one or two subs, uh, sorry, one or two tops in the air. Here is the 115A flown with multiple cabinets underneath. Same scenario with the ground stack of the subs, just flying the tops and so on. So it's very easy to connect, very easy to rig, and very easy for you to enjoy. We want you to think big, but pack small, travel light, travel smart, and go with the event 26A and the 115A.